Do your menu first. Go ahead and set that menu up however you want. But you can always go back later to do it by changing the weights. But it's better to just go ahead and get it set up if you want to make little changes later. The menu's going to be on the right. There's, there's a way to put it on the left to get it over there, but... I can't remember how to do it, but this is just easier in a way. And your menu's gone. It's over here on the right side. You want it to come from the left. There's a trick to that. I'll get to it. Make sure you wait some. You don't have to do this, but I recommend using weight because when it gets on different display sizes, it might not work properly. Or it might not fit to the screen like it's supposed to without it. So I just max it out. Then on your main menu or the main the main page. Just change the weight to one. Alright. And whatever you want over here. Now that's just basic as you can get on this. Brown crap, hold on. As you notice right here, 
in the own create. This is where I have my code. Right here. And you can see I've set it up for four different menus just to give the touch a broader base. But just remember this video is just basic concept. You'll learn more from it as you do it. Let's just say I'm gonna take this code. Right now. Which you can copy this code from my app, my tour tool that I made, tutorial that I made. Right, here's the key things you got main it's good to set it up on main so you'll see all right there's main you want that that's your main layout then you want to make sure like you have a and b you have to create those variables and here's your more blocks left and right you have to create these more blocks here and you need to just go in there and create a variable number variable B and A which that can literally be what you want I mean it could be Z and X but I'm gonna leave them A and B you don't have to use A and B anything you just have to create the variables and I'll show you all right, let's leave it like that. Back out. Well, shit. All right. Variables. Add variable. Number. Do A. Add. Number variable. B. And that's all you have to do on the variables. It's in, it's in there. It knows the variables are there. You don't have to give them any value because they're going to have value in the code. Uh, next, you want to go to your animator. Create two object animators. Let's do one out. Make another one in. Right, now you want to go down here to your more block. I might not be doing it in the order that I said in the tutorial, but it's all the same. More block, all you gotta do is slide capital L left, create. Slide, right, and create. Uh, so basically, you have all of your stuff created for it. I right, know you want to back out of there. Now you got your left and your right. Well, let's go on your right first. Go to your right. You want your target to be menu. 
translation X. These you can pick what you want. I usually use linear or accelerate, decelerate. Kind of gives it like an effect. Now the tricky part is positioning your menu layout to the left side of the screen if that's where you want it. Or you can keep it on the right, which that makes it a little simpler. But I'll show you how to do it. I'll put it on the left side. Oh, did that wrong. Hold on. You'll see why I'm putting 150 in a minute. I should have did this other part first so it don't confuse you, but I'm already here. Or you'll see where it says translation X equals get DP negative 150 minus display width pixels. All right, in a minute, I'm going to back out and do something I should have did first, and that's I'm going to set the position of it for the left side. And it's basically going to be this same little thing right here this I'm gonna go in there and put set translation X blah 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 you'll see and basically for your value you want it to be the same thing you don't need two operators of the minus That's to get display width pixels. Get your DP or your DIP. Make that negative 150 to zero. Remember, this is when you swipe right or slide right. It's going to open the menu from negative 150 off the screen to zero, which is going to put it on the screen. Duration, 500 milliseconds. All right, so I think that's it on that. You can copy this block and just use it in your other one. And you're just going to reverse the values. I just remember there is something we're going to have to add inside the box on this one in the slide right. We'll get back to that. It's you need a timer too. Right, let's go over here to on create. Go to your view. Go down to set translation X because that's this is going to position it to the left side of the screen. So you want to go in here and do that same setup, 
the minus operator. Do your DPI. Well, for the tape. There we go. And the display width. Set this to negative 150. Because this is the width of your menu. It could be 250. You just need to make sure it's the width of it. But this allows it to set it the display of your screen minus the size of your menu, which is going to set it perfectly off of the menu. So basically, that sets where your menu is going to be on the left side. All right, you can copy this too because you're going to need this. All right, now you can come back into your slide left. Oh yeah, I forgot. Sorry. Make sure you change this to in because you're going left is in, right is out. All right. The reason you copied what you just copied was because all right. If you see, you know. It's saying if the translation equals zero minus this place width, that's because it's out. When you slide left, it's going to go from that position in. All right, so when it goes back in, go ahead and set you a timer. And just name it whatever. <clears throat> Add this to the bottom of the blocks. And set it for the duration of the animation, which is 500 milliseconds. Then you can paste that. And basically, you want to set that position. This just allows it to be accurate on set the if blocks, if it's this or if it's that. It'll know that it's doing it because once you, whenever it goes back in, you want to make sure it's set to that negative 150. Because that was what I was saying in the on sketch where I was having issues, even though it was set right, it wasn't wanting to. It might have been off just a hair for whatever reason. So this allows it to be accurate to when it goes back in. It's making sure it sets it exactly what you want it to be for the values, so the if blocks work. All right, this and your it your set translation X down here needs to be what the end result is which is which is over here this all right back out of there now go to your slide right and you want to add that timer to this one too Same thing, 500 millisecond. Oh, crap. Change this one to zero. Alright, you see if translation x equals get dp negative 150, so you basically want it to be the negative 150, and the values go from negative 150 to 0, and then it sets it to 0 <coughs> down here. So it allows it to be accurate on its position, so it does what you want it to do. And same thing on this one. Hope I'm not confusing, just... Just re rewatch everything, look at all the values and everything, and just make sure it's right. See, 0, 0, 2, negative 150, and then you set it to 150. That's just being accurate. That's what I had issues with. All right, you can go back up here. You can look at your code, make sure everything's right. A, B... All your variables there, you created your variable, you got your, your more blocks. And if you want now, 
and this is what I did and you can do it however you want but copy this code get you another add source directly block keep everything but set this to menu this allows you to be able to swipe pretty much the menu and the main layout to be able to open and close it. Basically, open the menu. I've noticed that it's accurate. It's better to open the menu from the main layout and then swipe, swipe the menu to get it to close. So just change that to your menu layout name. And that should be it. Let's try it out. Yep. Works good. So you need to swipe the menu now. Close it. Or you can do the main menu. So as you just swipe whatever to open and close it. And the reason in my video I was having issues with it was because for some reason the vertical scroll allowing a page to scroll with this uh, swipe detection messes with it so it's picking up the vertical scroll when you kind of swap so you have to like do it like perfect to get it to work right with the vertical scrolls which that's an issue and there's more code you could work with to keep that from happening but i have not figured that out yet but i would be trying to get to that but there you go no menu button it's all swipe action it overlays and you see your menus on the left here Things looking good. Take it easy. Gotta get back to work. <laughs>